In this video, I'd like to relate stoichiometry to rate of reactions. Here's a general reaction. A breaks down into 2B. So the stoichiometry is 1 to 2, or you could say 2 to 1. And that means the rate of formation of the product B is twice the rate that which reactant A is consumed. For example, if A is consumed at a rate of 0 0.02 moles per liter per second, that means B is forming at twice that rate because of that 2 in front of the B. On the other hand, the rate at which A is consumed is half the rate at which B is formed. So if B is forming at a rate of 0.1 mole per liter per second, then A is being consumed at half that rate. Here's another example where A plus 3B yield 2C. So the rate of formation of the product C is twice that the rate at which A is consumed because of the 2 in front of the C, the 1 in front of the A. But the formation of C is two-thirds the rate at which B is consumed. For example, if A is consumed at a rate of 0 0.02 moles per liter per second, then C is forming at twice that rate, which is 0 0.04. But if B is consumed at 0 0.02 moles per liter per second, then C is forming at two-thirds that rate, or 0 0.013 moles per liter per second. You could also look at it in another way. The rate at which A is consumed is half the rate at which C is formed. For example, if C is forming at 0 .0, I mean 0.1 mole per liter per second, then A is being consumed at half that rate. The rate at which B is consumed, on the other hand, is 3 halves the rate at which C is formed. For example, if C is forming at 0.1 mole per liter per second, then B is being consumed at a rate of 0.15 moles per liter per second. And this should be a B.